Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain shift instructions of 8086 microprocessor. So let's see the first instruction that is SHR. So SHR stands for shift right. So SH for shift and R for right. Its format is SHR AL comma two, wherein these are operands AL comma two. In place of AL, you can write any register, BX, BL, CH, CL, anything. What this instruction does, this instruction simply shifts bits in AL register, means whatever you write. So it will shift the uh, bits available in AL register to the towards right one by one, inserting zeros from the left end. The rightmost bit shifts in the carry flag. What is the meaning of this? Let's see, this is AL register, okay? And these are the contents of AL register. This is D0 bit is 0, then 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, and D7 bit is 0. And this is carry flag, carry flag votes 1. So what happens after this instruction, every bit will shift towards right. As I have shown by the arrows, every bit is going to shift towards right. And whatever is in bit 0, that will enter into carry flag. And then what about D7? Because then D7 become empty. So in D7 bit, the 0 will enter. So I will show you. Suppose this is a data available in AL register and this is carry flag. So what happens after the execution of SHR? Let's see. Every bit is shifting towards right. One more time I am showing. Every bit is shifting towards right by one bit position. And now D7 is empty. So what will happen? The 0 will enter into d7 position but what it is this instruction says shift al register towards right twice to indicates you have to shift it two times so here we have done it only once so if we want to shift it again one more time then now what are the present uh, status what are the present contents the present contents of al register are after shifting, now this is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. These are present status and carry flag is 0. Now one more time we have to shift because here it is written 2. That means if we have to shift 2 times. So once again we will shift it towards right. And now again D7 is empty. So again we will enter 0. So since we have shifted it twice, now we have got two zeros out here at D6 and D7. Now in this instruction, if there is 5, then we will have to shift it 5 times and there we will find 5 zeros in this register. So this is how SHI instruction works. Now next instruction is SAR. Now this is also shift right. S stands for shift, R stands for right, but now this is arithmetic right. So what this instruction says, shift arithmetic right. So what this instruction does, this instruction simply shifts bits in AL register to the right side. Here it is not AL, here it should be BX register because in the instruction we have written BX. So it has to be BX register. So it will shift the BX register contains as it is shown here towards right by one bit position. Then what is the difference between previous instruction and this instruction that was SHR, this is SAR. In previous instruction, we enter 0 in D7 position, but here D7 remains as it is there. Means if it is 1, it will again enter into D7 position. If it is 0, it will enter into D7 position. That means D7, whatever is in D7, suppose this is 1, 1 will enter in D6 and again it will remain at D7 as well. Or if this is 0, then 0 will enter into D6 and 0 will also remain at D7 position. So let's see. Now I cannot show you for 5 bit position. So this uh, I am explaining only for 1 bit towards uh, right. Okay, 1 bit shift. Now let's see what happens after the execution. Every bit will shift towards right by 1 bit position. And D0, D0 is entering at carry flag. And you can see the D7. D7 again remains there. I'm showing you one more time. See, every bit is shifting towards right. But D7, D7 is entering there itself. Okay. Now, since there is 5, so this process should repeat 5 times. Now, this is a present data. Then again, it will shift towards right. 
by one bit position and d7 will remain at d7 then again it will shift towards right then again it will shift towards right so five times it will shift towards right now next is shl so this is shift left sh stands for shift and l for left so shift left what the contents of cl register by one bit position so this one indicates we have to shift the data towards left by one bit position now since it is shift left you uh, it is always good to draw this carry flag at left hand side of your register this is cl register contents because cl is our operand mentioned in the instruction if we are doing right instruction then right uh, shift then you should draw this carry flag on this side and if it is shift left then you should draw on left hand side so that understanding becomes easy what happens in this again in this every bit will shift towards left by one bit position whatever is available in d7 will enter into carry flag and now d0 will become empty so zero will enter at d0 position so let's see suppose these are the present uh, data available in cl register so after execution what happens earlier carry flag was zero after execution this d7 will enter into carry and d6 into d7 one more time see what happens every bit is one more time see what happens every bit is shifting towards left by one bit position and now d0 is empty so here we have to enter zero though so this will happen after one bit shift suppose here it is five then you can shift you have to repeat this five times if there is three we have to repeat it three times and so on now this is shl same instruction shl cl but two you can see here this is shl same here it was one now it is two now we have to shift twice so first we will shift once so d0 is empty so we will enter here zero and now we have done it once now we have to do it twice so again now our present status is this our present status is this you can see here data match now one more time we have to shift it towards left and hence two zeros will enter at this position so if there if there is four then four zeros will enter from the right hand side now next instruction is sal shift arithmetic left same instruction i have written sal cl comma 2 so here i have not shown for 2 i have shown only for one shift but it is similar to shl instruction it is not a different than shl instruction the sl instruction is abbreviation for shift arithmetic left this instruction is same as shl instruction that means whatever we have seen here shl same is s a l instruction so if it is one same every bit will shift towards left by one bit position and zero will enter from the right hand side uh, now uh, one problem is there what will be the contents of register ax after execution of following program assume that carry flag is one so what we did move 0f into as register so after execution of this instruction as register will hold 0f 0f means 0 0 0 0 and 1 1 1 1 binary then move al ff move ff to al register so al register will hold ff means 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 then we have written shift arithmetic right shift the contents of ah register towards right by four bit position so ah register that means these contents we have to shift towards right by four bits position that means four times then after that you have to shift left contents of al shift the contents of al register towards left by two bits position and then after that shift right then shift whatever shifted uh, contents of al uh, you will get here after shifting whatever you get here the same contents you have to shift towards right by three bit position and you have to tell uh, you have to find out what will be the contents of ax register ax register means what is the 
contains of combination of al and ah because ax is combination of al and ah so find out this and write your answer in the comment section so thank you very much thanks for watching